Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie. I'm glad that you guys are here to join me. If you are brand new here, please click down in the subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the little bell to be notified anytime I post a new video. Today I wanted to do something a little bit differently. I decided to make a pumpkin pie while I answer all these questions just to make it a little bit more interesting and Thanksgiving is almost here and I'm so excited. And so I wanted to make a vegan style pie so that you guys can enjoy it at home and feel guilt free eating it. Also, if you guys have any additional questions from the ones that I answered today, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. I'll definitely go ahead and answer them. And don't forget to also hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. So let's go ahead and get started. First question, what made me become vegan? All right, so before I answer this question, let's go ahead and mix up our dry ingredients and we'll give that a little bit of a stir and I'll answer that question. And so right here I have one and a half cups of flour and then here I have one fourth teaspoon of salt and one fourth teaspoon of coconut sugar. What made me become vegan? I honestly started with the documentary called What the Health on Netflix, which I decided to do my own individual research. And I started reading a lot of articles and also talking to people that have gone plant-based. I went ahead and decided I was going to give it a try, but I was going to do something a little bit differently than every other diet or lifestyle I tried. And so I decided to take it slow and just cut one thing out at a time. All right, now that we have all of our dry ingredients stirred, we're gonna go ahead and take one half of a cup of coconut milk and go ahead and pour that in. And here I have half a cup of vegetable shortening. All right, I have one of these bad boys, so I'm gonna use this. It's a lot quicker, but if you don't, it's perfectly fine. You could simply just take your fork and mix all the ingredients in. All right, so now that I have all my ingredients all mixed up, you want to just try to take out all the air bubbles in it. All right, I have a little bit of flour here, so I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle this with your leftover flour. Go ahead and sprinkle your rolling pin. If you don't have this, you can just use anything in your house that is maybe a little bit similar that would be able to roll the dough out because you just want to get this even for the pie crust. So while I am spreading this out, I'm going to go ahead and read question number two. I don't like vegetables. How can I enjoy this lifestyle? This is also an issue I've had myself. So trust me, if you are that type of person or a person that consumes a lot of meat and... If you are a person that consumes a lot of meat and dairy and think that this can never be you, trust me, I was there. And so don't let that discourage you from trying this. You know, you might have to try a few times till you get it right and that's perfectly okay. So if you don't like vegetables, what I would recommend that you simply do is just try different forms to cook them. I mentioned in the previous video, I hate celery, but if you can put celery into a soup form, I actually really enjoy it. And so I would recommend maybe playing with different vegetables just to see what form that you like that specific vegetable in. I went ahead and I took vegan butter and I lined the, the pan with that. Um, you can also take olive oil spray or any sort of vegetable oil spray. And what you want to do is you want to take the crust. And the good thing about using the saran wrap is that it helps separate. And you want to just simply, yep, perfect. You want to just throw it inside there. And it's a little tricky because you want to make sure that it's even, of course. But the good thing about dough is that you could just move it around until you get it exactly the way you want it. Right, so once you went ahead and got everything there, as you can see, it's uneven. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is simply take a knife and cut off all the excess dough. Because the beautiful thing about food is that you can always fix it to be better. So don't worry about not being a chef or being perfect in the kitchen because I'm not a chef <laughs> at all. I just enjoy cooking and you know fortunately I have this outlet to go ahead and cook and show you guys what I come up with and what I find delicious. Alright let's go ahead and clear this out. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in all the ingredients for the filling and I'll show you how that's done. And so I have all my ingredients pre-measured, but I'll definitely let you guys know down in the description bar what the ingredients are. Um, but let's go ahead and start with pumpkin puree. I might go ahead and put that into a blender. If you do not have a blender, don't feel like you need to go out and purchase one. Just simply mix it into a mixing bowl. 
Go ahead and take one fourth of a cup of coconut milk. Make sure that you buy the can one and not the actual one from a carton. Okay, so after we put the milk in, I also have one fourth cup of brown sugar. After the sugar, you want to go ahead and put one fourth of a cup of cornstarch as well. Okay, next I have here is one fourth a cup of agave. Okay, I also have one fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then last but not least, I have my spice mix. So I have one and a half teaspoons of nutmeg, one and a half teaspoons of allspice, and then I have six teaspoons of cinnamon, and also one and a half teaspoons of ginger. And you wanna go ahead and put that in here. Once you have everything in your blender, go ahead and mix it up. And let's just do one more question before we fill this delicious pie. All right, next question. Why did I start YouTube? I started YouTube because I've always knew that I wanted to get healthy and help others get healthy one day. Brandon going to be a part of your YouTube channel. For those who don't know, Brandon is my husband, and yes, I do intend to have him on my YouTube channel. He is a great inspiration in a lot of these meals, and he is just such a good cook that I don't want to be greedy and not share him with you guys. All right, before I go ahead to another question, I'm gonna go ahead and get this pie filled. So while I'm doing this, might as well move on to another question. How much weight have I lost so far? Um, so when I first started this journey, I was 231 pounds. Um, and right now, as of this morning, I'm 186 pounds. And so in total, I have lost 45 pounds. But I try not to focus too much on the scale. I mean, it's great to see the weight going down, but I know that each weight is different for different people because now I literally just want to get healthy and the weight loss and how I look and how I feel is just all a plus in the process. And so I kind of messed up a little bit. I didn't realize that I grabbed my bigger pan. This pan right here is 22.8 by 5 inches and so I had to make double the filling in order to fill this pie completely or if you have the regular size pan this one portion that I had mentioned earlier should suffice okay go ahead and spread this out evenly okay now that I have my delicious pie all put together you're gonna go ahead and bake this for 60 minutes inside the oven okay last but not least while my pie is being made I want to go ahead and make a delicious coconut whipped cream that you guys can use on top. And so what I'm going to simply do is take the remaining amount of coconut milk that I have left in the can. And then I'm going to go ahead and do one fourth cup of coconut sugar. Do my one fourth cup of actual coconut flakes. Go ahead and mix the ingredients together. And then what you're going to do is you're going to store this overnight. So it can get nice and stiff. Let's go ahead and put this in the fridge. I'm gonna go check on my pie, and then I'm gonna answer the last few questions, and I'll show you the results. I decided that while my pie is making and I have my whipped cream chilling, I'm gonna go ahead and answer the last few questions. And so my next question is, do I work out? I have to be honest with you, I had not worked out for the first two and a half months that I started this lifestyle. The reason for that being is because I had just started a new job that was going to require me to be a lot more physical than what I was in my previous job. And so I decided to start incorporating working out into my lifestyle. And what I do are circuits or something called HIT, which is high interval training. And it's something that I would recommend you guys take a look at. I will be doing some fitness videos soon on my channel. Next question, is your husband vegan? And if he is not, how do you stay on track? And so he's been trying a lot of the things that I've made for him. He has not intentionally lost 25 pounds just with the fact that he eats primarily what I make. With him eating just the things that I have made for him and then occasionally still having dairy here and meat here, he has still lost 25 pounds in two and a half months, which is amazing. I took my life into my own hands. For the longest time, I used to blame my husband for the fact that I had gained 50 to 60 pounds since we've been together. But after a while, I just stopped blaming him. I just said, no, this is my life. These are my decisions. I am an adult. And although we are partners, we are not codependent on one another. And I have this. I can take control of this. And you can eat whatever you want to eat. But I'm going to make my own meals. And if I have to make something extra to you know, support you as well, then I will do so. How do I get 
it healthy. I went ahead and started off with a journal, not this exact one, but very similar to this, and I just started writing everything that I ate down. After a week of taking notes on what you do consume and eat, go ahead and pick one habit every single week to get rid of. And so I started off with red meat and I told myself that I'm going to just give up red meat until I feel comfortable enough to know that I'm not gonna consume any more red meat. And so it honestly only took me about five days where I was just like, this is a breeze bring on something a little bit harder. And so I moved on to chicken. I felt like that was going to be the most challenging for me. Um, and then fish was my last meat, as you would say, which is not really considered a meat. But to process foods, and to process foods I went to dairy until I have let go of all the things that prevented me from eating 100% clean. And I did this throughout a course of time. And when I tell you that I've lost 45 pounds in two and a half months, it is including the time that it took me to cut all these things out. And so don't feel like you have to be vegan 100% to start losing weight. Your body needs to just start sensing that you're making changes to it that it likes. And so just take one thing at a time. Another thing I did is that as soon as I let go of a bad habit, I purposefully tried to gain a new one. So whether it be trying to force myself to learn how to create something delicious out of this vegetable that I hate, or I will increase my water intake. And so the first week I let go of steak and I decided to increase how much water I was drinking and that was going to be my challenges for the week. And until I tackle those, I am not allowed to move to the next one. So hopefully that is something that you guys can try. That is all for the questions that I've had here today. I'll show you guys what this looks like. Hopefully you guys try it, if not today, sometime before fall is over. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye.